the little tail in the centre can just be woven into the back like so. So now you should be left with this thread that you finished with. To make the antennae of the butterfly here, there are many different ways that you could do it. If you'd rather not do this step, you could simply use a uh, pipe cleaner or chenille stick. I simply do a very uh, simple chain, but I pull it quite tight. And as you can see, that gives the matching antennae to the butterfly. Okay, so now we're ready to make the butterfly's antennae. Simply make a loop. And we're just going to do a very basic chain. I choose to make it about 15 centimetres long, or that's about 6 inches. But the length is up to you. If you pull it tight as you go, it gives it makes it uh, quite firm, and it will stand up by itself. Also handy to know how to do this if you don't have any other antennae, like chenille sticks or pipe cleaners. So I've finished that now, that's about 5 inches long, 5 to 6 inches will do fine. Just simply thread. And pull it through. I simply fold it in half. And I trim the ends of the thread about a centimetre or half an inch off like that. And instead of trying to hide this I actually make a feature of the ends by undoing the yarn. So you can see each ply just like that. And the same to the other end. This makes like a little tuft at the end of the antenna, but you can choose to do that or not. Give it a little pinch in the centre. As now we're going to sew the antenna onto our butterfly using the thread that we left attached. Taking our butterfly again and the thread, we're going to Use our needle and we're going to first of all stitch the butterfly down the centre. There's no exact place to stitch this as there is a hole in the middle. I tend to just do about four stitches along here until I get to the top. So working underneath. Because it's in the same yarn, you really shouldn't notice the stitches you're doing. Do them firmly, but not too tight. I simply go beside this little hole here, pop the needle through, back down. It doesn't matter that it's not right in the middle. Back up through the centre. About two more stitches should do it. And as you can see, the stitches are disappearing. And one more, just near the top, like so. What you'll notice is that your butterfly is now stitched down the centre. 
with just a few stitches. Using the remainder of the thread, we're going to stitch the antennae of the butterfly that you've just created on. Place the antennae into the little hole in the center, like so, and basically pass your thread over the top. You might need to play with it a bit to get it right. Check that they're still centered. And then anchor them down by passing the needle back through the center. I find generally that about two stitches will hold them in place nicely. And another one. Just pass your thread through the middle. Through the centre. And now your antennae are on nicely. We're just going to hide the tail now. So place your needle back through the centre here. Open up the wings and bring your needle out underneath between the two layers. Then simply weave through the back like so and pull your needle through with the remainder of the yarn. We're finished with the needle now. Trim the end, hold the wings back down, and there you have your finished butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and enjoy making your own butterfly.